Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chesswise. Today we are at the next topic that is attacking the castled king and we are going to use the various indicators of attack which we have learned. So let us see which indicators of attack we will try to guess or identify here. So when we look at the king position we see that white king is on c1 and it is attacked by several pieces. One the bishop directly eyes b2. Queen attacks a3, b pawn attacks a3, and rook can attack b2. So four attackers. And if we see the defenders, actually on b2 there is only one defender king. So first thing, first thing that we instantly see is the assault ratio. Four attackers is to one defender. So very high assault ratio like has got. Secondly, what we see, the line of communication. The line. That is the diagonal here is open and the B file is about to be open. And finally we see the king's pawn cover B2 and A3 which we can demolish here. So the demolition of pawn cover comes into effect. White has two or three candidates which he must look at. One BB2 check, second B takes A3, third Queen takes A3. These three candidates must be considered. As per the technique, we should always look into the forced line first. So black thought of the move bb2 first. We must note that ba3 is very interesting. After queen a5, unfortunately after ab king a, king b1, there are no checks. So ba3 doesn't work. Let's go into the move bb2 now. Bishop b2 check kb2 and now it looks like there are two ways of winning the position which is a very important analytical point actually. One is the move queen a3 when kb1 is forced and second is the move ba3 which also seems to win. Let us look at ba3 first. So bishop b2 check, kb2, b takes a3 check and now comes the move king a2. So bb2 check, kb2, b takes a3, king a2, or even king a1 works. It looks like black wins after rb2, k1, rook b1 check. The point is that if rook takes b1, queen is lost. If king takes b1, then qb6 and white on b2. But unfortunately, there is the move king a2. And although maybe white is in trouble, black is clearly better, but nothing much is there. Rook b2, k1, maybe something like qc7. But still it's a long way to go, it's not a poor swing. Thus after the move kb2 we see that ba3 is not great. Let's see and look at the move queen a3 now. After queen a3 check king b1, now black has the very strong b3. And now we see that all the pieces participate. Three attackers is to only the king as a defender. So queen a3 check, kb1, b3. And now we see it's game over. Black is about to either get mated or lose huge material. After c takes b3, rook b3 check, king c2, qb2 mates instantly. So c3 or c4 forced and now black has the very strong b2 after which we see that there are numerous threats. Queen a1 check, kc2, b1 queen. Rook b1, qb1 is the main threat. So after b2, white has to play the move kc2. White was kc2 and here black had seen the strong move. b1 queen check, rook takes b1 and queen a2 check. The rook is lost and the position is also totally winning for black. After King d1 we see rook b1 check ke2 rook b2 pinning the queen. So king d3 forced and now qb1 check or the even more simpler queen takes d2 k takes d2 and rook b1. Not only the bishop is pinned black has got a passed pawn and black will win the game very easily. So black could make the combination quite easily because of his extra attackers that is the assault ratio was one of the main factors in this position. I hope you are finding these lessons 
यूजफुल एंड इंस्ट्रक्टिव डू लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट्स बिलो थैंक्स फॉर योर टाइम